as I offer this prayer through my words and my heart, and as a congregation respond as appropriately. Gracious God, on this sacred day, we are especially mindful of your love. Your love that not only gave us the gift of your Son, Jesus, but continues to pour out with every good gift and every blessing that each one of us experiences. Together we praise, praise God. God. And as we praise you for your blessings, as we praise you for the life force within our world, we are reminded that love wins. You will not be overtaken by evil. You will not be overtaken by hate. And that while there is evidence of those qualities within so much of our world, you are stronger. And as your children, we want to be strengthened by your love, strengthened in hope, and strengthened so that as we live our lives, we truly allow the truth and the light of Jesus shine through us as we love one another. Together we praise God. God. And as we praise you and continue to lift up our voices, our hearts, we scan across our world and we ask a simple prayer. Send your force of love, send your force of light. Send and reinforce your heart's desire of justice so that indeed those areas consumed by war will be led to peace. And those people who are most vulnerable, with food insecurity, housing insecurity, job insecurity, that their needs will be met because you lead people to do what is right and to care for those who are most needy. This is our request as we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Lord, hear our prayer. We know not only of the national, but we know also within our church family. We're delighted as you support us, as you provide opportunities to celebrate with family, with neighbors and friends, especially during this season. And we also are so thankful for the opportunity to be gathered in the name of Christ and to celebrate your love. Together we praise God. God. And as we pray with thanksgiving, we continue to lift up those within our church family who have specific needs. You know those needs. You may name the people as we faithfully and persistently present them before your throne of grace and ask you, through the power of the Holy Spirit, to touch their lives and to be sufficient for all their needs. We pray for Carol and Nancy recovering from orthopedic surgery, for Dory, for Teddy, for Tyler, for Marion, our oldest member, over 100 years old. For Nick, who is preparing to be deployed. For the Skinner and Child's families, as they recently lost their loved ones. And especially, we pray that your light would shine through each of our lives as we go into the world and seek to love our neighbors. Lord, and as you have listened to this kind of prayer, as we have responded from our heart now, we are united by praying the prayer that you taught your disciples when we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us be king, power, and glory forever. Amen. 
Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, love is a common word. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, using different settings. We hear it said, I love sports, often a specific Boston team. People say they love nature, made by God. While in the next breath, they say they love house, constructed by human hands. In fact, I'm not shocked to hear a child explain, I just love purple cow ice cream, eating a summer tree at a wall known local dairy farm. Between people, love takes further significance. Love can lead to marriage, then love describes relationships with that family intertwined between parents, children, great grandchildren, and more. On this Sunday at Adam, as Christians, we focus on the greatest expression of love, declared in John 3.16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever so believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. <coughs> Simply said, God is love, best expressed through the gift of his Son Jesus. Lighting the Advent candle of love, on this Sunday, is a special celebration of God's love. So today we light all four candles. So the first one is the candle of hope. <coughs> Let our lives be filled with a certain hope found in God. The second is the candle of peace. May God's grace give us peace by making us whole and complete as we rest in Him. The candle of joy. Rejoice in God always. Shine joy through all of us. And last, today's candle of love. Gracious God, instill within each of us your empowering spirit as we are transformed through the love of Jesus so we can love one another. Amen. 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 I invite the ushers to come forward as we collect this morning ties and offerings. Grace of God, as we have gathered on this morning, we are reminded over and over again of the greatest gift that you have given to the world, the gift of your son Jesus. And as your children, we want to be imitators of God, to reflect the very image of God. And therefore, as an act of worship, we bring our gifts and we present them to you, which empower the ministry of this church, both here in Hingham and other ministries of mission, both in the area and around the world. We ask your blessing on the gifts, but especially we ask your special blessing on the givers, all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.